Cheers, guys. Cheers, Mike. To catching. To catching. It's good, man. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of G3 Sportsman. Today we are in beautiful Miami, Florida, and the sun is shining. And we were with Captain Mike of Urban Legends Fishing Charters. And you, why don't you tell us a little bit about what we have in store for us today? So today we're gonna to be targeting peacock bass. It's a good time. The peacock average two to three pounds, all the way up to around 10. <laughs> I'm not gonna to try to follow that up with anything. Let's just get on the water and have some fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Peacock bass are the hardest fighting freshwater fish in North America now. Second to tarpon and third to snook. Uh, and the only reason they're stronger is because they're saltwater fish. They're 10 times stronger than a largemouth and about five or six times stronger than a smallmouth bass. Holy cow. You'll see. First fish on All right, right here, doubled folks. Up doubled, here. Up. doubled up. Let's see what we got. I think I got, let's see, a little peacock. <laughs> Man, it's fun on these spinning reels too, isn't it, Mike? Oh, yeah. Let's see what Captain Mike's got behind us here, but it looks like we got a peacock right here, guys. Look how pretty these fish are. Look how much rod bend you get on these guys, Holy dude. Holy cow. We got a peacock Oh, look at this, well. how pretty. Look at this guy coming in. Gorgeous. That solid blue color. Look here. I'm him. All right, can you lip them? Yeah, they're all just right, like just a like a bass. Yep. Oh my gosh! Oh, look at that! Look how cool! Look at the colors on these things. So I've obviously I've been seeing these humps on these fish on their heads. Is that a male or? Yeah, the males have the humps and the females have a smooth head. Okay. And especially now during the spawning season, they um, the hump gets bigger. Okay, so they're showing off. Yep. This is a female, as you can see, smooth head. Yep. And that one's a little, we call these uh, bully males. Awesome, guys. Boy, those Gorilla those Grip gloves help. They got, yeah, they got some teeth, don't they? So, like, you obviously, everybody always sees the this tail, right? Yeah. For predators, keep them off the... That's a false eye. False eye. And it, where they come from, there's a lot of uh, superior fish that can eat them, so it gives them a better chance of survival. For sure. So, they were introduced by a gentleman by the name of Conrad Hitton. That you might see his house right there. He introduced them in 1982. Uh, the idea was to control the carp population, but the real reason was to bring sport fishing to the area of Miami, especially in them days, was the cocaine cowboy days. Miami wasn't the safest place. So it really brought awareness to fishing and it gave a opportunity to people to catch a fish that otherwise wouldn't be feasible inside the United States. What's your guess, Mike? That's a peacock. You can tell by the way they, they fight. Listen to that drag ripping. I mean, he is rallying me. I gotta tie my drag a little bit here. Oh yeah. Look at the fight these things got in them. He's trying to get me back in those pads, Mike, so I'm gonna put the Go ahead, tighten put it the up button a little down bit. on him a little bit. Holy moly. Oh, I wasn't joking when I said they were no. strong. They say don't reel against the drag, but dang, you gotta, yeah, you gotta pull, keep that rod tip up. Yep. They like to take you in the structure. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. Get in here, buddy. Oh yes! Oh, there we go. Yes. There we go, good yes. job, buddy. Yes! Guys, what I we came this, out here to do, dude. I pitched this thing 
back in a little shallow shiny area it was maybe a foot deep when you say captain mike yeah and he just tore and it. i just kept my rod tip up and i reeled slow and you could just see him come up and just boil on it so you know that's what's just kind of like bass fishing like we were that thing's hooked right at the top of the mouth perfectly look at that right how exactly how you want to hook them look at that it's a male with that bump on his head but yeah so you know fishing you see little differences in these lily pads and in that particular spot that was just kind of a variation in that lily pad and he'll have to tell you i don't know if you know if they're sitting in spots like that more often but how big is that fish that's probably about 22 23 inches and about six seven pounds he, he won't let go of my finger there he goes guys nice and healthy back into the water there he goes healthy. guys always make sure and whatever fish you're catching i mean i know we're getting photos and videos but we're taking the time to dip them back in the water, try to handle them as little as possible and get these big fish back in the waters. So that way somebody else can catch them again. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey. Heck yeah, dude, that thing was hammering. He's horsing them out of there. You gotta get them off this tree because they'll yep. take you in. Yep. Not the biggest one, but still pretty. And each one has a unique spot pattern and different tails, so it's pretty cool. Urban Legends, where it's at, man. All right, guys, so Captain Mike's got a set up with G. Loomis spinning rods. Uh, we've got a braid to leader set up. Looks like a little split shot. Pretty finesse set up, and then a little circle hook. Yes, sir. And you can run barbs out here, so he's getting us a golden shiner out of the, the tank right now. So, so Captain Mike said uh, we, we're going to be casting as close to the bank as possible, letting it sit for 20, 30 seconds. If we don't get bit, slow retrieve back in, roll sure cast to keep these live shiners from just slapping the water, keep these bait alive as long as we can. Absolutely. And I like to go in right behind the lips and out through the nostril. Okay. I, th I feel like it's a bigger pea, only because it hasn't jumped yet. If it was a tarpon or a snook, it would have been airborne in the first 15 seconds. Turn that go for it. No. But whatever it is, definitely a good size one. Heck yeah, off the off the troller. we go a nice female you can tell by the smooth head see no stripes on this one uh -huh. subspecies yep uh, speckled tail not too much orange on her bottom fin either this one maxes out around three four pounds some of them get to about 10 15 pounds depends on the subspecies all right we're gonna get a safe release all right guys the reason they stay here in Miami is because of the water temperatures are best match the Amazon and the Central America region and it's just a blessing that we have them in this water and they've been able to stick around. Uh, they start to slowly migrate north, but what happens is we get a cold winter snap once every few years and that'll wipe them out right back to Miami. So the biggest ones and the most variety of the species are here in Miami. All right, it's coming in hot. Good size one. That's actually. a good one, Mike. He's been there the whole time. Fish again. About like the one he's got. Maybe, maybe actually a little better. That's a good one. Woo! Come here. Come here. Don't come off there. Stay on. Oh, lost him. That was a rookie mistake. That was a nice. Should have one. netted him. Yeah, was well, it big? was a good one. I mean, he was probably 25% bigger than that one. Yeah. I just couldn't get my my thumb in his mouth, and then I had a hold of the braid, but uh, he threw me. Don't, 
That was hey, a boys good and one. Girls, don't do what this guy just did. <laughs> yeah, we're All good. All right, guys. So great start to the morning here. We landed a nice one at 20 inches, and uh, Mike's landed a whole bunch, and I just lost another really nice one. But we're gonna hop to another little spot here. Not sure what's in store, but come along with us. Guys, make sure you drop a comment below. Uh, let us know what you think about all this. We appreciate all the comments on YouTube. And uh, make sure you drop a follow too, that way you catch our next episode. But come on, we're gonna run over this next spot. Came back, got, got, it. got him. <laughs> that was a nice one, dude. <laughs> oh, man, that's the coolest bite of the day right there so far. He missed it three times or twice, and I just let it sit and he come back and got it. I'm just letting him play here. There's still a few more there to be had. Letting him wear himself out a little bit here. On this spinning, this spinning stuff, guys, you you can't just horse them in, but All yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Sweet. This is a, definitely a hybrid. We could tell by the spot pattern. Good eyes, Mike. I didn't even see him until he bit. You had him twice. So, so Captain Mike, he came cruising through here about however fast. Look at this right here. Oh, yeah. Didn't even pop. He was just barely hooked. And uh, he spotted him cruising through, and then he just told me where to pitch. I didn't even see him swimming until he bit it. Missed it, hit it again, missed it, hit it again, caught him. Look at that. It's almost like inverted stripes. Just gorgeous fish, guys, and what a fun fight. Absolutely. Come on out here, guys. You gotta come down here and see Mike. What a unique, unique. We're gonna throw this one back and we're gonna get us a bigger one. There was a few on that area. What a unique experience this is, guys. I mean, there's nothing I've ever seen like it. Got, got him. Got him. Nice here. job. No, you got it. That's a nice one. That's a nice one, dude. Yeah. I need to get I'm the gonna net. net it. I got you. I'm gonna net one for Captain Mike here. Where's that net? There it is. That's a good one. Pretty fish. Real golden colored. Oh. Nope. Not ready yet. Yes, sir. All right. It's a nice male. One. Nice, nice one. male. You basically sight fish that fish. Yep, you can do that down here. So the lakes and canals in this region are not natural. They're mostly dug. Uh, one, because Miami's a flood zone and they want to get the water off of the land as soon as possible. And two, to raise the level of the airport so it wouldn't flood in case of a hurricane or whatnot. Uh, that's why a lot of these areas, there you can see the limestone and the coral rock is all artificial because they dug it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That was a big fish. Net, we need the net. Yep, I got you. Here, throw it out for me. This is a big one, too. There's another one with him. There's a bigger one with him. I'm going to get a bait on. Here, get, get the bait on. Get the bait on. No pressure. No pressure. Oh, God. No Come on. Pressure. We've done this before. <laughs> Cast it underneath that tree again. This is a Miami special right here, boys and girls. Come get them. Yep. The trick is to let it sit. Okay. Stay out of there. Boy, they're fast, man. He just they're about took me beast. that, they're tank, that dude. tree in no time. I mean, one tail kick, and he was almost in that tree. These things are just hammers. Yeah, Mike, get out of there. Get out of there. I mean, I just had to hold my spool to give myself a second to keep him out of that tree. Come to my right. That's a nice one, guys. That's a nice one, Mike. Another nice one, dude. Yeah. 
Come on, buddy. Get in here, big guy. Get in here, big guy. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Sweet. I'll take that from you so you can get the motor. Guys, look at the color underneath this fish's gills right here. That almost doesn't even look real. It looks painted on. I'm gonna tell you something too, guys. It's like Captain Mike said, these things got a mean head shake. So if you guys are lipping these fish, it's like he said, it's not about being a man. It's about, you know, using those fish grips. Because if you're gonna grab one, make sure you're not dropping it and letting them bang their head on the, on the boat. Exactly. It's about the preserving the fish for future. Yep, because what a fishery they got here. So we're gonna get him unhooked. I'm gonna get this rod off my shoulder. We're gonna let him go. <laughs> Mike, how long have you been guiding? Since 2014 since 2014 all out here oh uh, yeah man what a niche you got i used to do a little bit of salt water but i switched it up to only this because oh, it's just a better there time. we go they smoked that one That's, oh there's a couple with it there they're trying to steal it from me there's like three or four in the water right there look at the colors on this fish here look at these things another female came out and just blasted i mean it wasn't in the water two seconds I'm just having too much fun catching these things. And 50, 60 fish is not uncommon for wow. a charter for four hours. 50 or 60 fish. I mean, how can you beat that? A fish that you can only, where else can you catch these? In Central America and Brazil. Guys, yeah, Central America or Brazil, or you can come down here with Captain Mike and catch a fish that is just a once in a lifetime fish. Hard fighting, beautiful. I mean, what more could you ask for when you're out here fishing? So I started fishing and I started posting and then I had people saying they wanted to go fishing with me and do this because it's a bucket list fish. Uh huh. And then next thing I knew I was doing this part time and then especially when COVID hit I switched to full time. Uh huh. This is a year round fishery. Although the best month to target these guys are from January all the way to May. Uh, June, July and August is still productive but it's a little bit hot on us the anglers because we're in Miami and it's pretty humid and we're talking 90 degree weather so. Although you can come anytime, I recommend um, January through May. And you were asking me why I like to fish G3. It's because the fit and finish is top second to none. And I'm there a we Yamaha go. guy. I've never had a problem with Yamaha and... Stay out of there! There we go. A little better fish. This one's got stripes too. Nice. Gosh, these are fun to catch, Mike. Oh yeah, man. It's a world-class fishery. Guys, we're just pitching these minnows right here. He's got spot lock, which as you guys know how important spot lock does or is for a lot of our trips. Boy, this one's really different. That one might be a hybrid. Look at the uh, look at the spots on this one, guys. Oh yeah. Almost like a crappie. But uh, we're just pitching these minnows right on the edge of these lily pads and it seems like they're shooting out and, and getting them from underneath the pads. But uh, yeah, that's it's got a uh, it's got some faint lines, but then it's also got some some spots and boy that's a head shaker there you got to make sure you, you can yep there you go guys we're gonna let this one go guys mike had Give a me bed the fish net. yep the net. we're gonna get a net from mike here this is a fish mike saw on a bed i'm going this way we actually pulled in there came over the top of them just throw it out that way if you yep. want this is a heavy fish. This is the one. Guys, we've been having a blast out here. We've had multiple big fish. Look Captain Mike has been putting it on him. This is how we do it. I mean, just incredible. This is probably the biggest look one at, of the day. Look at the colors on that fish. Oh my gosh, get that thing out of him. Look at the orange on its gills. Ugh. That's a hammer. I'm gonna leave that net under this there. This is called the Mama Jamma. And we're also <laughs> AKA Tanks. Miami Tanks. Look at the head on that thing. So it's actually soft. Yeah, so it gets a little bigger now in the spawn. Uh-huh. And it become, it's because of the spawning season that they get a little <laughs> bit larger. <laughs> what a size. hammer, man. This I guy is, I've seen them. Guys, seen them. if you want to do something, if you're a fisherman and you want to come do something, I promise you, you can't do anywhere. You've got to get out with Captain Mike. ULfishing.com, Urban Legends Guide Service. You have to come see him down in Miami, Florida. One of a kind fish. You can't catch him anywhere else. Nowhere else in the United States, at least. Guys, you can't beat that. Thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. I don't know if we're going to top this in a while. Thanks a lot, Captain Mike. Absolutely. This has been incredible. Come get them, boys and girls.